Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve a block diagram reduction problem. The problem is determine the overall transfer function C of S by R of S for the system shown in figure. So this is our given problem. We have to reduce this block diagram by using block diagram reduction rules. Right. So first let us see how many summing points and how many branch points are there. So here we are having 1, 2 and 3, 3 summing points and 1 and 2, 2 branch points, right. We have to reduce this entire blocks into a single block. So the first step is moving the branch point before the block G4. So here I am going to move this branch point to before this block G4. So here what is the rule for moving a branch point before the block is? The, so we have to use our rule number 4. Moving the branch point before the block. Whenever a branch point is moved before a block, we have to include the element G to the branch which we are moving. Right. Here I am moving this branch. So here I am going to include this block G here. Right. That's it. Similarly, here I am going to move this branch point to before this block G4. So, this is the branch point which I am going to move. So, as I am moving this branch point before this block G4, I have to include this G4 to these two branches because these two branches originate from the same point. So, here I have to include G4 in this line also and here in this branch also. So here in this case now branch point 2 is moved to the branch point 1 position. So here as I am moving this branch point before G4 here I am including G4 here. Similarly with this branch point I am having an another line here. So here also I have to include this G4 right. This is our first step and the second step is Combining blocks in series. So here in this case, here I am having two blocks G4 and H1. These two are a series combination. Now I am going to combine these two. So combining blocks in series is nothing but we have to multiply the elements in these two blocks. So when you multiply here, you will be having G4 into H1. Right. This is our step number 2. And the second one is here, this is a branch point and here I am having these two parts, right? Now I am splitting these two po these two branches as individual branches. That is, I am connecting this over here and I have taken this line and I have joined with this branch point 1 because both, both has the same meaning. And the next one is step number 3. Here the step number 3 is, I am going to eliminate the feedback loop. Here, this is our feedback loop, right? This is feed forward element and this is our feedback element and the type of feedback is negative. So, reducing the feedback is nothing but as we all know, the formula is G divided by 1 plus GH. So, here this is our G and this is your H that is feedback element. So, while combining this term reduces to G in the place of G, I am having G3. So, G divided by 1 plus again G in the place of G I am having G3 G and H is G4 into H1. So when you reduce this feedback loop the, res the respect to expression is like this. So here just write G3 divided by 1 plus G3 G4 into H1. Right this is our step number 3. And the next step is again when you see here these two blocks are in series combination. So when these two blocks are in series we can combine these two. So when you combine the thing is just you have to multiply. So when you multiply these two blocks you will be having G2 G3 divided by 1 plus G3 G4 and H1. Right. And our next step is here listen carefully. This is your feed forward element, right? And here from the output, 
from the output a part is taken and again this is given back to its input so here h2 is the feedback element right so when you again this is our feedback loop this is the feed forward element and this is your feedback element so <coughs> excuse me so again our formula is that is g divided by 1 plus g h so in the place of g i am having this one right so right g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g4 h1 g3 g divided by 1 the type of feedback is negative so 1 plus again the place of g i am having g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g4 h1 g3 multiplied by h2 right when you reduce this you will be having g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g4 h1 g3 divided by when you take lcm here you will be having 1 plus g4 h1 g3 plus g2 g3 h2 the entire expression divided by 1 plus g4 h1 and g3 right so here in this case these two denominator part will get cancelled and the remaining term will be you will be having this one so write this expression here so here we will be having g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g4 g3 h1 plus g2 g3 and h2 right so this feedback loop gets reduced into a single block containing this element right this is our step number five and the next step is you all are familiar right again these two blocks are in series so just multiply these two terms so when you multiply these two terms we will be having the respective expression as g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 and h2 right and again now this is our feedback loop right and the type of feedback is negative now i am going to reduce this feedback loop here so this is our feedback loop now we are going to reduce this feedback loop so again the formula is this is our g and this is our h so the general formula is g by 1 plus g h right so here in the place of g i am having this element so write as such so g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 so g divided by 1 plus again g so g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 multiplied by and here the h is g4 right that is the feedback element so multiplying g4 again when you take lcm this expression gets reduced as g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 divided by just when you take lcm you will be having 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g2 g3 g4 here g1 g1 g2 g3 g4 the entire term divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 and h2 so here again the denominator terms will get cancelled and the remaining expression is we will be having g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 g3 and g4 so this is our respective expression so write this expression over here so here i am having g1 g2 g3 divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 g3 and g4 right so again now these two elements are in series so when you combine these two elements are in series we will be having g1 g2 g3 g4 
divided by 1 plus g3 g4 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g1 g2 g3 and g4 right so this is our final transfer function the problem gets over here thank you